So following the lead of Matt Maddox in Win Entertainment, Sands has decided to go public with their Corona figures. And once again, we're not talking about the beer. You know what we're talking about. But how does the Venetian Palazzo stack up to the win Las Vegas? Let's find out now. It's the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And today we're going to go ahead and discuss some more numbers that were actually released regarding Corona cases in Las Vegas. So, when kind of started this whole thing off on Thursday, I'll put a link to that video in the upper right hand corner of the screen, or is it over there? I don't know which, because I can't tell which direction this camera's pointing. <laughs> we'll find out a little later on. Uh, so, that being said, uh, our friend Sheldon Adelson who is the owner of Las Vegas Sands Corporation and their chief investor, he has decided, or at least his team has decided, to go ahead and release their figular, their figures. He's decided to go ahead and release their figures as far as corona cases in his hotels. Now, it's a little different from the win when we break this down. Um, first things first, we gotta go ahead and discuss the facts before we go into speculation and the general differences in the testing. So hang tight for just a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our fact breakdown right now. So fact number one, Venetian Palazzo, AKA Las Vegas Sands, has done 42,000 tests uh, since they implemented their testing procedures. And there go all the geese. We got the geese taken off. The Canadians are coming back to Vegas, guys. The Canadians are coming back to Vegas. All right, also much love to, you know, to Pennies and Muffy and TNG, all my Canadian homies, Bay Bay 2 and Mommy CT, you know. Love all my Canadians, just for the record. I just thought it was funny that the geese came by. <laughs> Fact number two, they've had 424 positive cases since they started testing although only 399 of them, as of this recording, have shown up as positive since the June 4th reopening of this year. And fact number three, it looks like these are just employee cases. They weren't all confirmed on site. They were also confirmed at off-site testing facilities. So that's the last of that. Okay, now that we've gotten the numbers out of the way, let's go ahead and discuss what that means in some more practical terms. So, from a practical standpoint, what kind of infectivity rate are we looking at? Well, among employees at the Venetian Palazzo, and it's important that I say employees here, because it's very specific, and that's a major difference between the win numbers they released on Thursday, and these ones that I got Friday night from Venetian and Palazzo. So, employee infectivity rate. 424 employees have been infected confirmed no reported fatalities and 25 of those reports were from before, before opening and uh, 399 of them were from after opening to be precise how many tests have been conducted 42,000 not all of them have been on site so that means they may or may not have been independently verified not entirely sure what their method was. We know that Wynn used Las Vegas University Medical Center to be their go-between. They were their resource for testing. We don't know who Venetian Palazzo, Las Vegas Sands, used for their testing. They didn't release that data. Another important thing, this is only employee data. There have been no reported cases of Venetian Palazzo having any guests that were infected specifically. Now, Wynn did report six guests specifically that were infected. Like I said before, no fatalities reported, and as far as employee fatalities, there may have been three from the sounds of things, according to Wynn. Now, their contact tracing seems to indicate, well, actually, you know, the SANS contact tracing doesn't seem to indicate much because they didn't uh, release too much on that there. So it doesn't say if they gained it from the hotel. It seems, uh, the, the report implies that they didn't get it from the hotel, but, we don't know for sure, and of course, the contact tracing method, which I assume is survey, is only as good as somebody's memory. I'll say my memory's not that great when I'm feeling sick, I'll say that for sure. All right, so now that we've gotten the numbers out of the way, we know it's 42,000 tests, and we know it's 424 cases. So out of the 42,600 tests that they did, about 424 came back positive, meaning they have roughly a 0.99% infectivity rate among employees compared to the 
no, not the 0 0.00, it's the 0.12% infectivity rate among guests and employees at the Wynn. But the Wynn did tell us how many people came through the doors. Venetian and Palazzo have not, so we don't know how many people have been there since the reopening. So that's another thing that kind of skews the numbers. Probably not going to get exact figures because it varies from report to report. It depends on what they've recorded, what they find useful, what they don't find useful. So that's going to be another thing. That's the problem with studies. You can study anything. You can study a thousand different things and get a thousand different results, or you can do a thousand different studies on the same thing and still get a thousand different results. That's just kind of how the science works. It depends on who's running the study and heavily depends on how well they ran the study. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're looking at these numbers here. Well, let's get a little more practical about it. What does that mean for you, the consumer, who's A, looking for a good deal, and B, looking for a good time, and C, most importantly, looking to be safe while you deal with it? Okay, so if we're talking strictly room rates right now, you're not going to see much of a difference. Venetian is still $400 a night for their low-level rooms. That's just how it is on a weekend. Those are weekends in Vegas. Get used to it. That's never going to change, especially since that's where all their traffic's coming from. Now, midweek, you'll probably be looking closer to uh, $200 a night. I don't think that's going to change just because they've been transparent with a couple virus figures and just because they've had a couple hundred cases, that doesn't really lower the value of the property that much, especially considering that their direct competitor, Win, well, they've had pretty much the same number of cases. It's like 548 employees compared to 424 employees, and that's even after 15,000 tests. So who knows, maybe Win is in a slightly different boat, but midweek I'm still seeing them at a couple hundred bucks a night unless you have a special offer. So as far as savings go, you're not going to see a major difference. Now, as far as safety goes, also I don't think you're going to see a major difference. We just talked about the differences in infectivity rates just among employees on their own. Um, again, we don't know where these employees have been. We don't know if they're on the front lines cooking. We don't know if they're at the front desk. We don't know if they're maintenance staff. We don't know if they're pool staff. We don't know if they're the repairmen, we don't know if they're the casino cage workers, we don't know if they're cocktail servers, we don't know if they're the head chef, we don't know if they're the waiter, we don't know if they're the middle management in the marketing department. We really don't know who's gotten sick and who hasn't. And that's kind of a factor there. So I'd say if I mean if it was definitely more more cooks or something like that, or maybe more frontline workers might be a little more concerned, but because we don't know who it's who it's been um, because of privacy. I'm sure it's a, I'm sure there's going to be a privacy law in there somewhere, or a privacy policy um, where we, we can't ask or they can't say unless there's something major confirmed and it's been linked there. That's going to kind of work things out like that. So yeah, I mean, same problem at the win as what you have at the Venetian slash Palazzo. We don't know where everybody's been. So we can't say for sure which one's safer or not. They have a similar plan where they quarantine the person, they send them home. I'm not sure if they get paid or not. I have to research that to see if they get paid when they're home with the coronavirus or whatever other virus at this point here. I'm sure any virus that they see, they're just sending people home regardless. But they're also checking these positive cases here on a regular basis. And like I said, we've been, we've seen 42,000 tests from, uh, from SANS and then Wynn has shown us 15,000 tests or so at this point, doing that bi-weekly. So they're going to keep testing regardless and sending people home and doing their best to protect people. I think they are legitimately trying to stay open and stay clean if for no other reason so they can make money, but your safety is important to their bottom line too, so one way or another I do believe they are trying to look out for people, honestly. And finally, does this affect your good time? Well. It might just a little bit uh, on the merit that, yeah, Vegas is still under certain conditions. The the governor of Nevada, uh, Steve Sisolak, Spicy Steve, as Kino Kid likes to call him, uh, he is uh, still reserving the right to shut it all down if he sees these numbers and he doesn't like the way they look. There have been, to date, about 74,000 uh, positive cases of corona in the greater Nevada area in the state, most of which have been attributed to Clark County. And you guys all know what's in Clark County. Yep, that's Viva Las Vegas. So you can kind of run it backwards and figure out where I'm going with this over here. So if anything in uh, Nevada is going to close down, it's probably going to be Vegas where they're seeing the most activity. Not Well, okay, Clark County, but again, what's in Clark County? 
Vegas, okay? That's how it is. So that being said, once again, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys here. You have the stats. You're all 21 and up. You can make your own decisions. And I trust you guys to make your own decisions. I trust you guys to wear your masks. Like my Rocktober mask over here that I got. Um, also, we have Ace of Vegas masks, like we have the Ace of Vegas shirt. If that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and check the description box down below. I, re I wear my Ace of Vegas mask to work all the time, wear it eight hours a day, and I do just fine. I really do just fine, honestly. All right, but I think that's all the information I can offer you guys on this subject, and I'd really love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you comfortable making your Vegas trip right now? Are you going to hold off on it? Are you really excited that uh, Venetian has uh, stepped forward and told us how things are going? Are you glad that Wynn started this trend of having hotel casinos come forward with their numbers? Um, are you bothered by the fact that Caesars isn't uh, releasing their numbers? Are you bothered by the fact that MGM isn't releasing their numbers? Or are you like, hey, you know what? Don't ask, won't tell. I'm not interested in the number if I don't get the if I don't get the C19. I'm not worried about it. Let me know what you think, you know, judgment-free zone over here. You guys just know the rules. No politics, no religion, and we're covered. Uh, but that's all I got for you in the meantime. So thanks again, my Spinners and Sharks, and I'll go ahead and catch you on the next one. All right then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's news and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Next week, I really do want to get back to the pre-edited videos, trip reports, and how-to tutorials for My Vegas, My Konami, Binions, and the like. But if there is more breaking news, be sure I'll be bringing it to you live in HD. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva Las Vegas Viva